Hi everyone, this is Luca from BNC R&D. Today I'm going to show you how to use a tree map and how to create one by yourself. First of all, a tree map allows you to get an overall picture of the content of your infrastructure and the, uh, the resource usage and size of the system inside the infrastructure. So let's say I have a company and uh, it's making large use of vSphere virtualization and I want to see how my systems are behaving in terms of um, CPU, memory and storage utilization. And to this end I created three different tree maps like this one. So let's have a look at CPU first of all. CPU usage, uh, this is the tree map for CPU usage and each of the big squares you see here represent a cluster. I can hover over the cluster and see the details like the name, the type, the utilization in terms of the resource I'm looking at, in this case CPU, and the size. By the way, this, the size of the square you see here is directly proportional to the size um, of the CPU of this cluster. So this is a big one in terms of CPU, while uh, for instance this is a smaller one. It's using just 19 gigs of CPU. The colors you see here is instead given by the utilization, again in terms of CPU, of the hosts containing inside the cluster. Um, specifically colors towards the blue represent low utilization as you see here in the color map, while colors towards the red represent high utilization. At this point, what I might like to do is uh, digging inside, the, digging into the details of the cluster to see what's inside. In this case, uh, I expect to have hosts. I can click then to the on, on the cluster and drilling down. So what I get is another tree map, and uh, in this case, the squares represent hosts. Again, I, by hovering over each host, I can see the details, uh, the type, the name, utilization, and size. And uh, um, if I'd like, I can drill down again by clicking on the host and see the v virtual machines inside the host. Of course, I talked about CPU in this case, but I can do the same for any other metric. Uh, in this case, I've prepared two other tabs for the memory and for the storage. For instance, uh, by looking at this picture, we could say that uh, this specific cluster is making a large use of storage because it's almost saturated. Let me go back to CPU. One more thing I can do is by clicking on this three dots icon, changing from map layout to map layout with free resources. And what I get is exactly the same re uh, layout with the only difference is that the blank area represents the spare resources. So now that you know the basics of tree maps, let's create one. So now that you know the basics of tree maps, let's create one from scratch. So first thing I'm going to do is clicking on the gear icon here and adding a new page. I'll call it CPU usage because I want to create a tree map for CPU usage. And I'm on this list, I select the tree map entry. I'm going to click on create and I get the editor for this new page. The title is already there, so I just have to click on the tree map component to configure it. Uh, you see here I can select the system type. In this case, I want to start from virtual cluster. VMware clusters, of course, and I can use a template to speed up the things. By using the templates, I don't even have to select the matrix to be used. I'm going to pick CPU usage, and I'm going to click Apply, save the page, and there we go. I get my um, new tree map tracking the CPU usage of my uh, VMware systems. And it's exactly the same uh, as the one I showed you before. So I can do the same for memory. So let me add a new page. I'm going to call you memory usage. I'm going to select again the tree map from the list. I create a new page. 
I'm gonna edit once again the tree map. I'm gonna pick virtual cluster and this time uh, I'll select uh, another template for memory usage. Click apply, save once again, and that's it for the memory. Finally, I, I am going to create the last tab for the storage. So let's add a new page. This time I'm gonna call you storage usage. Of course, I will select the tree map. Okay, and this time I, I wanna do something slightly different. Instead of uh, basing my choice on the template, I'm gonna create a custom tree map. So the difference is that instead of using the template with pre-configured metrics, this time I can manually select the system type and also the metrics. So first of all, I pick my virtual cluster of VMware type, exactly as before. And I have to pick the matrix. I need two matrix in the virtual in, in the um, in the tree map: the size metric, metric and the utilization metric. Uh, the size one is used to determine the size of the entity, in this case the cluster, and uh, the utilization, uh, of course, uh, is used to determine the utilization percentage with respect to the size of the cluster. So. First of all, I click on the add metric for the size metric, and I pick something meaningful to track the storage size of the data stores inside my clusters. I will select total D store size. Done. Now I have to pick utilization. So once again, I click on add metric, and I will select total D store use which exactly represent the, the percentage of space used of the data stores inside the cluster. Click done again, apply, let's save the page, and that's it. This is the overall picture of the uh, status of my clusters in terms of storage used. So you see how easy it is to uh, create from scratch uh, tree maps with customized um, system types and customized matrix according to the specific needs of your company. There's one more thing I want to show you before closing. Uh, you see that for each new page I've created, uh, I got a new tab here. Actually, what I might like to do is, uh, given that I'm the, the three tabs are kind of related to the same thing, that is VMware cluster, I might want to uh, group all of them together. I can do this by editing the view. So I'm going to click on the gear icon again and on edit view. What I can do is creating a new page group. Let's call it demo. And I can drag the three new pages containing the tree maps inside the demo group. I'm gonna click save and what I get is just one tab called the demo and inside the tab the three sub tabs for CPU, memory and storage usage. So that's it for three minutes. I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, thanks for watching.